What's up guys, it's Josh here back with another Kansas City Chiefs related video and today I wanted to make a quick video asking the question will the Chiefs sign a long-term extension with Orlando Brown in the near future? So I know that most people after the Orlando Brown trade were thinking that the Chiefs were going to go to work immediately on an extension with Orlando Brown because sometimes that's how it works when there's a player that wants out from another team or there was a player that was franchise tagged or you know something of that nature uh, or a team just wants to move on and they trade him to another team usually that player is looking for a new contract rather immediately however the Brown situation is a little bit different now I understand fans thinking uh, when they say they want Brown signed to an immediate extension but there are some benefits to them not doing one right now. And for the record, Sam Mellinger and Matt Verderam, two uh, very well-known reporters for the Chiefs, uh, they said that uh, the plan is for Orlando Brown to play out the last year of his rookie deal, and then the Chiefs will talk about an extension next offseason. So um, I'm actually not um, opposed to Brown playing out the final uh, year of his contract um, this year with Kansas City without an extension and here's why so first of all the team has the team still has control really uh, over where Orlando Brown goes because he's going to be a franchise tag candidate with the Chiefs so no matter what happens this season they could just tag Orlando Brown like if they don't come to an extension they can tag Orlando Brown at the end of the season and he's not going anywhere he has no control over that but um, the reason that I am actually a more so of a fan of the Chiefs uh, waiting to give Orlando Brown an extension is because, well, uh, this way you can use the year to uh, see if Orlando Brown is actually the player that you traded for, uh, if he's everything that you expected him to be, and then then or and then you can be like, hey, uh, we like everything we saw. Here's twenty million dollars a year if that's what you know he's going to require. Um, which if he does require twenty million dollars a year, that probably means he's going to be a damn good player in Kansas City. But yeah, so like, here's kind of my thinking. So. When the Chiefs traded for Frank Clark, um, it was a similar situation to Orlando Brown. He needed an extension, um, but instead the Chiefs went ahead and they signed. Well, Frank Clark was actually on the franchise tag already, I believe. So uh, the, C the Seahawks were looking for a trade partner, uh, and for that to happen, the Kansas City Chiefs signed Clark to that huge contract as well. But the problem with that now, as we see, Frank Clark hasn't been all that great. Um, at the time, uh, it seemed like a good move to many, and some might still see it as a good move. I don't know, but quite frankly, uh, I think Frank Clark is overpaid, and that was a bad move in hindsight. You gave someone $100 million that isn't really a $100 million defender. And uh, that's why I'm a fan of waiting to extend Orlando Brown. And for the record, I, I don't think Orlando Brown is going to be bad, but there's nothing wrong with taking the wait and see approach. And if Orlando Brown gets hurt, maybe you can rethink it and be like, okay, uh, well, you're coming off, uh, let's just say Brown tears his ACL, which I hope to God doesn't happen. But if he does, they'd be like, hey, you just tore your ACL, so we're kind of wary and maybe the Chiefs would have better contract leverage and that sort of thing. Or maybe he just doesn't work out. He doesn't adjust to the Chiefs' uh, pass-heavy offense coming over from a run-heavy offense in Baltimore. I know that's one of uh, people's concerns. Maybe that happens, and they're just like, hey, it didn't work out. We wanted it to work out, and then they can just move on if they want to. Or they could just tag Brown and then trade him again if they really wanted to. But this way, they don't get themselves hung up um, on a Frank Clark-type deal. And uh, it's a little bit different, though, like I said. Like, I'm not saying Brown is going to turn into Clark. I mean, Brown is already, what, a two-time Pro Bowler? Frank Clark wasn't even a Pro Bowler in Seattle yet when the Chiefs trade for him, which is funny because uh, Frank Clark has now been a two-time Pro Bowler in Kansas City, and his production hasn't even come close to his Seahawks days, which is just mind-boggling to me. Um, but that's besides the point. So, yeah, I mean, Orlando Brown, I'm actually a fan of waiting this out and uh, extending him at the end of the year because I don't think his price is going to change all that much. If he plays well, then he gets what he was probably going to get anyways if the Chiefs were to sign him to an extension right now. 
But this way, it's just the wait and see approach. Uh, if Brown doesn't work out, then you can move on and you're not hung up on a bad contract for the next five years like you are with Frank Clark. Again, I don't think Orlando Brown is going to turn out to be a Frank Clark type deal, but there's nothing wrong with playing it safe. So yeah, those are kind of my thoughts on the situation. So I want you guys to let me do uh, excuse me, let me know down in the comments what you think. Would you like to see the Chiefs maybe work out an extension with Brown now, or are you okay with them waiting till the end of next season? So yeah, that's pretty much all I got. So make sure you guys like, share, subscribe so more Chiefs fans can find this. We're almost 2,000 subscribers. Let's try to hit that mark. And uh, make sure you check out my work on showmefootball.com and Arrowhead Addict. That's all I got for today. Peace.